So check this out. I know some of y'all probably out here on the iPad looking at the Galaxy Tab, but you heard through the grapevine like, oh, woo, woo, whatever, that app's on the Android ain't really all that for tablets. Or maybe you're on the Galaxy Tab and you're looking at the iPad. Whatever the case is, I got over here a Tab is 9 Plus and I got an iPad there over here. So I want to go and show y'all the differences between the apps on the Android and iOS. Just to kind of give y'all an experience of what both of these is like, you feel what I'm saying? So I'm going to be using basic apps and I got more advanced apps I'm going to go ahead and try. But anyway, bro, cut the talk. Y'all know what we got to do. Let's get into it. All right, bro, so bet. So we got the pool table of greatness, which I should start calling it that, no cap. And like I told y'all before, I got the Tab S9 Plus over here and I got an iPad Air over here. So this is the fourth generation, I'm pretty sure. So the point of this video is gonna be just to show you strictly apps. So it ain't gonna be Android and nothing like that, iPad versus Galaxy Tab. It's just gonna be the apps on Android and iPad OS. So if you wanna see a dedicated video on Android and iPad OS, let me know down below. Now I'm gonna run y'all through a couple folders real quick. So we got the basic folder, which got, you know, regular apps, Instagram, YouTube, we got Facebook, all that stuff. And then we got the advanced folder. So we got LumaFusion, we got Microsoft Excel and then we got Microsoft Word. And then I'm gonna even go ahead and show y'all some of the apps on my phone over here because they get interesting, bro. First things first, let's go and check out Apple Music. So I thought this is gonna be interesting because, you know, we got an iPad over here and that's an Apple app and I wanna see how it's compared to their own tablet. And also, by the way, I just wanna put out there, all these apps is already up to date on both of these, so they both got a fair shot. Now, this actually just got a system update, so we got a new Apple Music up in here. Apparently, we got emoji reactions and all that, so cool. So this is gonna be Apple Music side by side. So as you can see here on the Galaxy Tab and the iPad, the iPad got this sidebar over here which is like definitely look better than me in my opinion and then we got the albums over here let me go over here to the galaxy tab there we go so let's go to an album real quick and see what that look like side by side but also i want to go show you this so you can hide this and it look like just pretty much like the galaxy tab now it still look different it look like the android version but it look more familiar now now let's go and check out one of these albums real quick so as you can see here they look pretty much exactly the same if i can go and put this sidebar again it's gonna look different again but now let's go to the now playing section over here so we can see here that it's definitely different so I think this is just a new Apple Music update that they just didn't put in the Galaxy tab yet. So as you can see here, we got the music off to the side. And if I go ahead and rotate this tablet, we still got it off to the side. And let me go and put that back right there. Now, if we go and pull up the Now Playing real quick, as you can see here, let's go and pull these up side by side. Yeah, as you can see, definitely a lot different. So I'm pretty sure this is just a new Apple Music UI. They just didn't put in Android yet. But I'm not going to front. In my opinion, I feel like I like it better on the Galaxy Tab. Now, <laughs> why they got Tory Lanez on my tablet, bro? He over here shooting women in the foot. <laughs> That's crazy. So at that point, I feel like it's just a personal preference thing. But I like it better on the Galaxy Tab. It just looks small fielding on the iPad. Just wasted space, I feel like. And it's the same thing if I go ahead and hide the lyrics over here. So it's still going to be the full screen thing that we already seen before. Now, I just got an idea. Why don't I... I put these things in light mode so it'll show better in the camera but yeah that's gonna be apple music so yeah let me know what y'all think about that <laughs> but bro i'm telling y'all tory lanes is a menace bro how you shoot megan the stallion in the foot bro all right so next up we're gonna go and check out an app that's on both of these already and that's gonna be spotify so spotify side by side as you can see here just looking right from the jump they look pretty much exactly the same so if i go over here to the home page let's go to my like songs real quick or something yeah, still exactly the same. Now, let's go and play a song real quick. We got Pop Smoke over here, Shake the Room, RP to the Woo. You already know what I'm talking about. You already know what it is, man. But yeah, you can see here, same thing as Apple Music. So we got this full screen play over here on both of these, and they look exactly the same. So I don't see no differences with that. And with the lyrics, let's go over here, see that. And yeah, still not optimized, so cool. Now let's go and check out something like an album maybe. So let's go back here to the homepage. Let's go to, uh, I don't know, one of Chris Brown's albums. And yeah, no differences with that either. So now let's go and check out Facebook. And my Facebook be wildin', so let's hope that it's PG-13 today. All right, please, please, for the love of God. <laughs> All right, so we looking good so far. We looking good so far. I mean, eh, let me see. Eh, yeah, well, hold on a minute, hold on, what? <laughs> All right, let's show it for a minute. Anyway, this is what Facebook look like side by side. So obviously, as you can see here, it look a hell of a lot better on the iPad over here versus the Galaxy Tab where it just look like stretched out. But here's the crazy thing, bro. So on the Galaxy Tab, it used to be optimized until like Galaxy Tabs really started popping off and then it went to this. So I don't know what happened with that. That's like ass backwards in my opinion. Like you would think when the Galaxy Tab started popping off, that's when they would actually make it optimized. But no, nah, that's just that they went the complete opposite. So I want to go show you this on my fold too. Check this out. On my fold over here, you can see if I go over here to the Facebook app and I know some of y'all be like oh ooh, whatever who uses Facebook hella my people friends be like everybody uses Facebook bro you're like y'all just being ignorant I don't remember how many daily people they said be on Facebook but I'm pretty sure it's somewhere like a million or something like that but yeah if you look at this we actually got it optimized on the fold over here so we got the menu system off to the left which I mean that's nothing too impressive but it's still better than this because like for example let's scroll down over here right let's see you can see here that our Facebook reels is in full screen so it's just gonna blow up on the screen like that I don't like that same thing with these pictures now let's go to a comment section on one of these posts over here so let's go to 
to these comment sections and then let's go to this comment section so all stretched out on there and then we got to pop up on the ipad so that's another w for the ipad so meta not facebook meta y'all need to get on that all right for android tablets just update the app man just give us something all right now let's go and check out x or twitter the official app of the keyboard warriors i swear to god once again it's definitely looking worse on the galaxy tab than it is the ipad so the ipad actually got this sidebar over here we got the tweet button and it's just a lot better than the Galaxy Tab, I'm just saying. Now, as you can see here, it is a little bit optimized for the Galaxy Tab still, as opposed to Facebook, where it just blew up the whole screen. But it's just, you know, it's a little bit optimized on here, so it's not doing that, so that's cool. But again, if I'm using these side-by-side, -side, let's go to Kevin Breeze's post over here. Shout out to my boy, Kevin. As you can see here, I still feel like I would rather use the iPad. I'm just saying. Now, I still do prefer the app in general for Android as opposed to iOS, but still, on the iPad, I would rather use it on that. All right, so now let's go check out IG, and this probably gonna surprise y'all, because it definitely did surprise me, so check this out ig is actually optimized for the galaxy tab and on the ipad it looked like the same phone version that we have for a minute now so instagram actually took this from the full version because remember this actually came to the full first and it still looked like that but as you can see here thank god by the way i just want to say real quick that my ig is clean too like we having a good day all right my ig feed do be wilding sometimes bro i'm not going front but what i'm saying is like it definitely looked better on the galaxy tab as you can see now it still ain't the best it still could be better now if i go and scroll through here i mean the pictures do look better and you know it's Step. Oh, oh, there you go. There you go. Look, I'm already getting started already. Come on. As I was saying, man, like if I'm using these side by side again, I would rather use the Galaxy tab as you can see here. Now let's go and check out stories real quick. So I'm gonna check out my boy Nate. And then as you can see there, it is optimized on the Galaxy tab and on the iPad, it still looks fine too, because that's just how it's gonna look in general. I mean, they look the same, but I'm just saying, I don't like this at all, man. It's just a mad ill. So I gotta go ahead and rotate this to portrait and then it looks somewhat I, I guess, but then you rotate it to landscape and yeah, no, that ain't happening now let's go and rotate the galaxy tab over here and see what that look like in portrait mode so let me go and get that out the keyboard case and yeah still out to mine so cool meta y'all gotta do better than this bro and we've been saying for the longest like we never saw the day where it would come for a tablet optimization from instagram yeah here we is and it's actually optimized on the android version as opposed to ipad so that's interesting so cool now i'm done with all that now i want to go and do some shopping so we're gonna go and pull up amazon and see what that look like side by side and i don't know why i'm not logged in but all right anyway as you can see here we do have four columns as opposed to three columns on the ipad but at the same time the galaxy tab screen is wider so it's going to accommodate for that i'd imagine but let's go to one of these products over here so we got the sony alpha zv e1 which is a camera that i'm really trying to get for real though man but two bands is a hell of a lot of money that i ain't got right now now let's look at that as opposed to the ipad version and see what that look like side by side and yeah the ipad wins again all right damn so here's the thing again amazon used to have an amazon for tablets app in the play store specifically for tablets and then they got rid of it when the galaxy tab started popping off why is this trend happening bro now here's the thing it might depend for y'all so we got more of a mobile version over here as you can see on the galaxy tab and on the ipad it looked like just the website as you can see so that's up to y'all whether y'all like this web app basically as opposed to the actual optimized app so what do y'all think me personally i like the ipad version more but at the same time though i like how it's an actual app on here and it's actually like not just the website that we got because that's what the website looked like on amazon.com so all right now we got to go and see what's good with espn so let's go and see what's going on with there i ain't really been checking sports recently Recently, but of course we get Stephen A. Smith the first thing that pop up all right shout out to my boy Stephen A. Smith I know he be getting a lot of hate but lucky you know what I'm saying I look I respect the dude anyway looking at these side by side you can see here that they look pretty much exactly the same so it's actually filling the screen on the iPad and the galaxy tab it just looks like that but again it's more wider on the galaxy tab so that could be it now let's go and check this out we got the Packers and the 49ers and I know everybody was going crazy over that game man like nobody could believe that the Packers lost and I'm in Wisconsin so like yeah that was devastating for my state but it felt good bro I don't like the Packers, bro. It is what it is. We a Chicago family over here. And now let's go and check out some YouTube. Y'all ever heard of that app before? It's pretty decent. I tried it out recently. So just looking at these side by side, as you can see here, they look exactly the same. So we got my boy MKBHD, but you know what? Nah, I got to promote myself. So let's go to Trizzy262. So if y'all ain't saw my video already, I actually did a Miami documentary and that documentary was crazy. So definitely check that out, bro, for real. But yeah, just looking at these side by side, I don't really see no differences. Now let me go and see if I could just hold off onto this to the side and we can't fast forward all right cool let's try it on the ipad so if y'all ain't even know that before just go ahead and hold on to the right side of the video and you can fast forward like that like on tiktok but yeah let's go and check out the comments real quick and everything looks exactly the same so cool now we're gonna go and get into some of the more advanced apps over here so we got luma fusion which i'm gonna be real with y'all i don't got luma fusion on the ipad i only got it on the galaxy tab but shout out to my boy galen's gadgets he actually did a video on this comparing it to ipad os on the android version and somebody was actually talking about this in this comment section so he was saying everything seems exactly the same as the android version but somebody pointed out that they can't find stabilization 
localization anywhere on the Android version. Now, this video was a year ago, so it could be there now, but at the same time, no, there probably could not be any video stabilization on the Android version. I just don't know yet. But yeah, besides that, both apps are pretty much the same, so cool. Now, let's go check out Microsoft Excel. So, I'm not gonna lie, I'm definitely behind in my tax spreadsheet, so I need to work on that for my write offs. So, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was looking through this already because I screwed up on this video like two times now. The second time was the audio, the first time, I don't even remember what happened. But I looked through these and everything seemed exactly the same. So, I looked through some of these tabs and I don't really see no differences. So, now I do see one difference though. So, this page layout tab isn't on the Gauss tab. So, I just don't know if this is an option or not because I can't find it. But that is one of the differences I see. But other than that, I don't really see nothing different. And then Microsoft Word over here. So, we got Microsoft Word. Let's go and pull that up. And again, I don't really see no differences with this, but there is like one slight difference. So, if we go over here to the layout and let's go over here to that, so let's see real quick. Or it might be draw. I don't remember. Okay, it was insert. So, as you can see here, we have like the full like menu over here. We can see the icon and then we can actually see the text for the icon. On the iPad version, we just have icons. So, we don't have any labels or anything like that. We just have the actual icons themselves. I like it better on the Galaxy tab. That just looked better to me. And y'all, that's going to be apps on iPad OS versus Android. So, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below. Hopefully, this helped y'all out because like I definitely could have used this. And let me know what kind of tablet y'all got right now. But I'm about to go and get up out of here, man. So, hope y'all enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go and get this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe or go and follow me on my social media at Eten Tech on Instagram and X and Facebook, but Instagram and X are most active. But I got another Galaxy Tab video I'm working on coming at y'all. So I'm gonna have a What's on my Galaxy Tab S9 video. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, it was definitely interesting seeing the differences on the apps these days because I know everybody was saying, like, oh, none of these Android apps is optimized for tablets on Android tablets. So now y'all can see that ain't really the case. It still kind of is. But at the same time, though, it's only some apps. So like just regular apps that you're gonna use. And I feel like a lot of apps that you're gonna use is just it's just not really that i feel like they're talking about the old tablet days nowadays they ain't really applicable but anyway i'm gonna get up with y'all later man i'll see y'all peace out